Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, no intro, I probably won't even put an outro on this episode. I just want to have a conversation with you today. This has been something that has been on my mind over the last few days, and I figured that now is going to be a great time for me to hop on here and hit record and share a message with you today. So hopefully you'll find it super valuable. First off, let me take a second and express as much gratitude as I possibly can, right? I I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day, out of your busy schedule to spend it with me here on the Rich Mind Podcast. It means the world to me. And I hopefully you're finding a ton of value in the episodes I've been producing. Hopefully you're finding a ton of value in the guests that I've been bringing on as well. Uh, I've done a lot of interviews over the last, uh, probably the last two or three months. I have a lot still to uh, release over the next few weeks, but every now and then I want to just hit record, look into the camera here and just have a conversation, share some things that are on my mind that I think could be super valuable for you moving forward. So first off, like I said, Like I mentioned, let me just express a ton of gratitude for you joining me here on the episode. Without further ado, let's uh, let's hop in. And today I want to try to leave you with a little bit of encouragement to think through your EQ. And you might be wondering, what in the world is EQ? Well, it's actually emotional intelligence. So we we most of us are familiar with IQ with our intelligence, right? With our thinking ability, our, our brain power. But today I want you to think about your EQ, which is emotional intelligence and how that's impacting your life in your current day-to-day activities. And then also in your activities moving forward and for your future as well. My argument and what I've discovered for myself is that if you don't work towards gaining control of your emotions, of your emotional intelligence, you're going to struggle in different areas of your life that aren't necessarily, they're not necessary, really. And and what happens is if you allow your fears, your worries, your anxiety, your anger even, if you're allowing those emotions to control you on a day-to-day basis, it's going to be very difficult for you to make the proper decisions in the moment when you need to have your emotions under check, right? And under control, So that way you can make good decisions based on whatever situation you're in. So what are some examples of emotional intelligence? Well, for me, example is a lot of times you can feel your emotions with even, even within your body, right? You can feel your temperature rise. uh, You can feel your heart begin to race. You can feel sad. uh, You can just all of a sudden become emotional about an experience that you're having. You can feel anger. There's all types of emotions, but the point that I'm trying to make with today's episode is that when you become aware of those emotions, and then you begin to question those emotions, where are they coming from? Why are they there? They're there to try to tell you something. They're trying to get you to take awareness and try to take an observation of what's going on in your surroundings. Now, they might be fear-based and they might not necessarily be true, like they're trying to get you to stop doing something which may or may not be exactly what needs to happen. But if you're not aware of them happening, you're not going to make the proper decision moving forward. So what happens for me personally is I get triggered. I will get triggered by an event. I'll get triggered by somebody or something in my exterior environment. And that trigger sets off an emotional response. A lot of times it's anxiety. A lot of times I can feel my heart race. I can feel my temperature rise. Anger, I wouldn't say I have issues with anger, but at the same time, I might get frustrated uh, with the situation, with what's going on in my environment. And what I've discovered is as I am able to take control of those emotions as quickly as possible, that allows me then to take responsibility for the actions that I take moving forward. I don't let those emotions have control over me. I take control over them. So that would be the first question I would have for you today is, are you allowing your emotions and your emotional intelligence having control over you and your actions and your day-to-day activities? When I learned to do this, and I'm still learning to do this, by the way, this isn't something I've perfected. So I don't want to come across saying that I'm an expert at this because I'm not, I'm a work in progress, but I just want to bring it to your attention and to your awareness that when you are experiencing these things in your day-to-day environment, having the awareness, having the ability to have and feel the things happening 
and then being able to make a decision based on those awarenesses is going to be the key for you to create the environment, to create the uh, wealth, abundance, all the things that I feel like we're trying to achieve, which is exactly what I'm trying to achieve, right? I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to be prosperous and whatever that means for you. My ideas of what I think I want do not need to mirror up to what you want, right? You need to think through those processes yourself. And the first key is to be emotionally intelligent. And to do that, you need to be aware of your emotions. So that's where I want to leave it today. This is going to be a relatively short episode today. But the idea is that I want you to take a take notice of your emotions. Take notice of what's going on in your environment. If you're feeling sad about a situation, if you're just overwhelmed with sadness, that's probably a situation you need to take control of. That's a situation you need to be aware of and then begin making some different decisions that are going to be able to move yourself in a different direction, which will eliminate that sadness. If you're not experiencing joy, gratitude, happiness to any extent at any given time, it can be a job, it can be a relationship, it can be an environment, it can be anything. If any of those areas of your exterior world is creating some anxiety, creating some sadness. If it's not bringing you joy, that is what I would express today. That that's where you need to begin to take control of your emotions, understand why they're there, question them. So here's another tip, tip for you. This is something I've been doing here recently is that a lot of times I'll take walks. So today, as, as I'm recording this, we're late spring, early summer, the weather's finally starting to turn nice. I'm trying to get outside, get out into uh, an environment, obviously not inside the house or anything like that. So, but I'm taking walks. That's what I do. I try to get some exercise as well as get some fresh air. But I used to a lot, just put my earbuds in and crank up some music, right? Which is fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But what I've done recently would probably say over the last month, maybe six weeks is I've, I've purposely left the earbuds at the house. I've actually not even taken my phone. And I've just experienced what's going on in nature, experienced what's going on in my thoughts, questioning whenever a thought of negativity would pop in or even just random thoughts. So today, for example, I was having a walk and a song kept coming into my mind. And I'm like, where is that song coming from? Because it wasn't a song that I had listened to that I can remember anytime soon or, at, you know, I mean, in my in my past, relatively uh, close to where I was taking the walk today. So that was an activity that I was having within myself, within my own mind of where is that song coming from? And I didn't come up with necessarily come up with the answer. But what I want you to get the takeaway from that is that I was having the thoughts. I was aware that that song was in my mind. So then I could take control of it and stop it, stop it playing for a few moments anyways, and bring my attention back onto what I was trying to uh, be aware of whether it was, it was a uh, crystal clear blue sky today. Uh, the temperature was very nice this morning. Uh, I had a few neighbors that were out walking as well. So I said hello to them, just trying to really be present with where I was in the moment and then not, and not allowing my mind to be racing off into areas that I did not want that wanted to be, which was this song. I have no idea where it came from or why it was even there, but I kept questioning why, where is this song coming from? And as I mentioned, I'm using that as an exercise. And so that's why I would, would uh, suggest for you to do as well. Get yourself in a place. Uh, a lot of times we'll talk about meditation. That was a meditative state for me, meaning when you're in control of your environment, when you're in, in control of your thoughts, you're not allowing your monkey mind or the crazy thoughts to be running and racing all over the place. That's where you can be productive right? You can have the right proper thoughts of the actions that you need to take. That's where the idea of this episode came today. I was actually on that walk today and the idea of coming in and talking about emotional intelligence. That's where the idea came from was me being present with myself, present with my environment and trying to take control of my emotions and definitely my thoughts and getting them more productive, which allowed me then to sit down here today and have this conversation with you. So hopefully you found this message valuable today. You can journal, you can meditate. Uh, I use a guided medita meditation sometimes, and I'll, I'll put a link to the guided meditation that I use. Uh, it's called Brain Tap. 
uh, it's a great little software, or little app that I have on my phone that I use uh, not every day, but definitely multiple times per week. It's been great for me. But then, as I mentioned, I'm trying to just be more present, turn things off, turn the, and, and I don't mean like physically turn it off, but just get it away from you, your phone, right? Put it away, leave it on the table, leave it in your room, whatever you need to do, just get away from it for a little bit. It doesn't have to be all day. It could be an hour. It can be a half an hour. Try with 10 minutes. Try 10 minutes at first. If, if that makes you uncomfortable, try just a short period of time. Try to get away and break free from all of the distractions that are, are keeping you bound up in this environment of anxiety and sadness and just lack. And that's what I hope for you today and also moving forward. So go out there, focus on being great. Have a fantastic day. As I mentioned, I appreciate you checking out the episode. Uh, if this is your first time listening, if you wouldn't mind, if you if you like them, I have plenty of episodes to, to binge on, right? So feel free to check out my previous episodes if you'd like. If you've been around a while and you appreciate and like the content that I'm producing, I would really appreciate a, a review of some kind. That would be the way for me to understand what you like, what you don't like, if you're even liking what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm trying to produce the content that I feel is helping me, but as it's helping me, hopefully it will help you as well. So you can go to your podcast platform of choice, leave me a review. I would greatly appreciate that as well. So as I said, go out there, focus on being great, have a fantastic day, and look forward to coming back with the next conversation and the next solo episode. There'll be more of those coming soon. Have a great day now. We'll talk soon. Bye now.